let's start cancer <clears throat> the overall energy we have for you for your financial reading is the knight of cups in reverse with the four of pentacles what I'm getting here is that instead of being protective about your finances, I think you're becoming a little greedy. Okay, you're giving in to stinginess. You could be very haunted or you're scared by certain fears of scarcity or poverty, which is making you, you know, which is compelling you to be very, very materialistic. You could be incredibly self-protective and very, very defensive in terms of materialistic things is what I'm getting, okay? I don't think you are opening up to trusting other people only because of fear that they may take things away, okay? So this is someone who is probably, you know, holding on to their resources big time, okay? But again, because you're scared. I think because of this attitude of yours, because of this approach with your overall energy, I'm getting that you're dragging your feet and you're taking your own sweet time when it comes to any opportunities that are being offered to you, okay? Only because you're living in fear right now. Could be in the past that, you know, that things didn't turn out to be the way you hoped they should have, okay? And um, things just didn't turn out as planned. And what I'm getting here is that you're missing a lot of opportunities and only due to procrastination. One, you're holding back, you're holding on to your resources. Maybe you need to invest into some things. Maybe you need to let your money go a little bit, invest into something, but you're holding on to it very, very tight, okay? Because of which I'm getting that you're missing out a lot of opportunities. Another thing I'm seeing is that you may have put all your eggs in one basket and you're very, very disappointed with the outcome, which is again making you uh, take your own sweet time into getting into opportunities, okay? Just make sure, this is not a, this is not something that is going to, it, it's your approach towards your situation, okay? So I'm getting, make sure you do your research about any large purchases or investments that you make, okay? Before making a decision, just do a lot of research, okay? Make a very logical decision. But yeah, right now I see you holding on. But this is not like wanting to be secure. This is more, I'm getting more stinginess. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hmm. So in your past position, we have the high priestess with the king of cups in reverse. What I'm getting here is that either you're keeping your uh, financial situation very, very private. Or you're just being very, very careful about who you're discussing your finances with. Okay, more like I'm getting like a need to know basis only. You're keeping it very, very, very minimal, your conversations about your finances. Again, I'm getting you're keeping your financial situation hidden or even if you're being presented with opportunities. Another thing I'm seeing is that you're putting your, I mean, you know, if there are opportunities where you're getting, again, with the Knight of Cups and Rivers, okay, there could be a lot of opportunities that are being presented to you that were being presented to you in the past, but you probably had, you were just, not being able to trust your intuition, okay? You were having a very hard time in making a choice of whether something was good for you or not. With the King of Cups in reverse here, I feel that, you know what, you need, you, you probably are someone, you know, who's lacking the drive or even uh, lacking the balance when it comes to making financial dealings. I think you're too focused on your finances or you're ignoring the other areas of your life. I'm getting you're too focused on your finances. You want to keep everything secret. You want to keep it hidden only because I think you're having fear that someone probably may be eyeing your finances or that's just, just in your nature. You're coming from a point of scarcity or coming from a point of fear. This is a lot of fear-based energy. You, you could even be someone who has let your uncontrolled emotions in the past make your financial choices for you, which has created a lot of problems for you, okay? In your current situation, yeah. In your current situation, we have the death with the queen of swords in reverse. Well, I think this was something that just had to happen. I'm getting right now, if not right now, you will be going through this again. Time is fluid. You could be anywhere in this timeline, all right? So you know best where you are. This is coming into the current situation. You will or are going to be experiencing a financial loss or, you know, adapting to a financial loss or just having a huge realization about something, okay? It's like something's going to make you change the way you look at money. But this is a loss regardless. You could be, unfortunately, be dealing with a loss in your financial resources too, all right? Just take it how it resonates. But yes, this when the debt card comes in, it's for me, it's like it's time to learn some practical lessons, okay? You're not being very practical with the decisions that you're making. This could also be a period 
uh, of um, an initiator to huge changes or transformations in how you're handling your relationship with your money and what you value. Again, you could be someone who's very, very materialistic also. Don't have to be. But yeah, there are some important lessons that you are going to learn from this travel moment. If you haven't had this, it, it's probably coming in, which will lead to a lot of practical changes again when it comes to managing your resources, your finances, as well as to spiritual changes and knowing what is more important to you, what is truly important to you. Again, I'm getting your attitude towards this with the Queen of Swords in reverse here. You could be someone who's very bad at communicating, very poorly communicating your finances, okay? You probably don't have a lot of clarity about your finances or this is someone who's just not being updated with your finances. Again, you're communicating about your communication about finances can be very, 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 very uh, poor, which is why you're dealing with the consequences, okay? A lack of clarity about your own financial situation could also be a culprit here. Maybe you lent the money to a friend or a family member who has failed to pay you back, or you may have given or spent more than you could actually afford. I'm getting you're not clear about your boundaries. Okay? You're not clear about your own boundaries and limits, which has again caused this loss. So just a tip, you are going to keep going through these experiences with the tower here and the losses till you don't learn your lesson, okay? So be very, very direct, very candid, and very honest about your communication about your finances. Let's see, what you will experience in the near future? Wow. <laughs> All right, we have the temperance in reverse with the sun in reverse. Of course, right? I'm seeing right off the bat lacking patience you're lacking patience here i picked up on that energy uh, a while back but we're still going to see the root of the issue okay so this is the near future you have to be very very patient okay remember that you have to earn your dreams okay so focus on what you do have and what you can do better work towards your goals okay you're looking for instant gratification is what I'm getting. Again, I have to see the root of the issue here, which I should have seen before. But anyways, I'm going to go through this and we'll go back to that. So yeah, I don't, with the temperance at work, I don't think you're going to be able to balance your long-term needs in the near future because you're opting for a shortcut or you're just opting for short-term happiness, okay? Maybe you're someone who always needs to buy the next nice luxury or, you know, someone who's just dead or the alternatively, you're just so economical that you never reward your hard efforts with any small treat. Whatever it is, okay, both these attitudes will need a little bit of adjustment because they're both unsustainable in the long term. I'm getting that this imbalance is in your future state of mind and your present state of mind, right? This is also happening because you don't have a middle ground. You're landing up, you're going to land up making decisions regarding your finances in the future that are not going to be well researched and are going to be illogical, okay? In short, what I'm getting is you're being overly optimistic and unrealistic. The sun in reverse, it's a very temporary issue, all right? So it won't stay for very long. But again, being overly optimistic and unrealistic is again a very, very negative trait. Modify your expectations. Make some changes according to what your expectations are. Remain hopeful, okay? Have trust, have faith, remain hopeful. Work towards your goal, okay? But again, don't be um, extra confident is what I'm getting. The a sun in reverse can also be a little egoistic, prideful energy. Like, I'm going to get everything, blah, 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 whatever. But again, this is very, very um, overly optimistic, okay? I can't stress about it better. Positive is good. Like, there's, there's a difference between confidence and overconfidence. That's what's happening here. You're into that overconfidence mode. And I don't think there's, there's going to be a huge lack of balance in the near future, okay? So, yeah, set your goals perfect and see to it that your, your expectations are matching with your... Um, your goals or your goals are ex matching with your expectations regardless if you just take it how it resonates the root of the issue out here i'm sure we're going to get this is what gives you most information right nine of cups with the ace of cups i'm sure you already know what the root of the issue is this is a very smug energy to me with the nine of cups here okay your focus is wanting that your wishes come true which is not a bad thing. You probably want everything. Not a bad thing. Could be a fortune. But you want to feel content and you want that financial security. Okay. If you've been working hard, you'll find that you can be rewarded. Okay. You want to take the time to enjoy something that you've already earned right now. And that's what your focus is. Okay. I think that 
I think you're being again with the nine of cups here. It's all about me, 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 me. That's what I'm getting. Okay, someone who only wants to, who is only wanting to fulfill themselves. Okay, not really. They don't. It doesn't really matter what goals you set. It doesn't really matter what others want. But again, nine of cups. You just want everything. Everything's about you. Yeah, you could also be wanting, or you could even be uh, receiving some financial assistance. Or maybe you're waiting on some good news, okay? You can even receive help or you could be receiving some good news in the form of approved loans or mortgages. Or, you know, you can just get support from family members and friends. Or maybe this is just what you want, okay? You could even be wanting to be very creative in making money. That's what I'm getting, okay? Maybe you want to do things your way and do things that make you happy. I'm getting instant gratification, okay? This is what I was getting. You're definitely looking for instant gratification, okay? Again, you're not going to be able to balance things like we saw in the near future. You need to focus on what what you do have right now and how you can make that better towards your goals. And remember, you will have to earn those dreams. Okay, everything's not just going to fall in your lap. But yeah, if none of uh, if none of the other things make sense to you, then this is just that you just want a general financial stability and emotional contentment that comes with. Okay, this is a lot of emotional um, relationship. An emotional relationship with your money, okay? Money makes you happy. Again, money is not something that makes you happy. Money is a source that makes you happy. Money can buy you things that make you happy. Money can't make you happy. And I think that is your biggest problem. You think if you have money, money buys happiness. Money doesn't buy happiness, okay? Money is a source to your happiness. It is a way to your happiness. Money is a road to happiness. It is not a destination to happiness. If that makes sense. All right, let's see your future, uh, your best potential outcome. Okay, I like that. We have the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups. So what I'm getting here is that either your focus is on your finances, but again, uh, there is a positive upswing in your finances or there are huge opportunities coming your way, okay? You're going to get a great investment opportunity or this could just be huge unexpected money coming in. Whatever it is, I think you're going to be taking action uh, on achieving the financial goals. You're very determined, very action-oriented energy. You could even be very concerned with saving up for something big, you know, or you just want to optimize what you're saving. But it's, it's very likely that you're putting a lot of energy into doing whatever you want to, okay? But with enough focus, you'll be able to meet your goals. And with the Six of Cups, the good thing that I see coming here is that I'm getting that there are chances of you getting a gift or donation, or you're just receiving an inheritance, okay? This is simply sharing of resources with family members. This has all to do with family, goodwill. Family or someone who you have good memories with, um, could be someone from uh, an ex-family member, whoever, right? But this is definitely someone who is very, very close to you. This this screams family to me. I'm getting that, you know what? Someone could be in the process of making a will. Could be you, could be the person, could be someone else in your uh, environment, okay, where you're going to receive an inheritance from, okay. You could even be returning to your, very few of you, you could be returning to your parental home, which is giving you the ability to save your own funds more, you know, and you're amongst the comfort of those that love you. Or on the other side, you're welcoming family back into your home and you're probably sharing resources. Regardless, whatever this is, right, this is to do with sharing your resources with a family member or family members helping you out with this. Knight of Swords here, again, this is good news coming in, okay? And I think with the Six of Cups, there's a lot of money coming in or there's definitely some inheritance coming in. And uh, this is going to be a great investment opportunity for you, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.